Hello and welcome to I Archstorm. And it's been a long time. Um, that was very, very strange points that I just did. But it's been a long time, as Glyos says in Portal 2. Um, the reasons why is because for some reason my game would not work. Like, all I could see was blackness or darkness or whatever, and like whenever I moved around nothing changed. So I don't know, but for some reason, it's fixed now, so we're going to continue where we left off. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, I think I, I forgot. But I haven't played Portal 2 in forever. Uh, it's nice to get back into it. Uh, I know that I tweeted, I don't know if you've been keeping up with my tweets, but I know that I tweeted that by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. But yeah, I know that I said that I was, um, that I was going to, uh, play some more caves during the next video, but I was so excited to find that Portal 2 was good and ready to be played that I decided to play it anyway. And next video, I promise, is going to be another episode of Cave Story, because I know that's a couple of you have been waiting for it, so, yeah. Hello, Wheatley. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. No, there isn't one. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go have a quick look? Um, nope. Uh, there is right, no we'll just portal gun. There's no portal over gun over oh, there. Right. Over by the podium. Yep. Yeah. There's no portal gun over there. If you just okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. Go to hell. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Go die in a hole. Now I don't see a part again. And... You're an idiot. How considerate! Not really. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Well, that's good to know. I have nothing to talk about during these loading screens. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna let the announcer talk. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain <laughs> tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh, I like that smooth jazz. Okay, um... 
Okay. Um, but so yeah, if you guys um, saw my intro on my I review Proteus, then um, you'll know that the I had links to my Twitter and website, and they didn't work because apparently you can only post annotation links to other videos, playlists, um, a subscription thing, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, um, sorry about that. I'm gonna fix that in my next intro, which I'll be making. Uh, there's... Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. We have a glitch here. It's not touching it at all. I knew that was gonna happen. up here. Ooh, propane bottle. I got a propane bottle. Aww. I barely touched it. Why isn't the emancipation girl shutting off? Oh well, I'll do a couple more test chambers and then end off the video. <laughs> if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> space debris can be a deliberate part of the test? Wow, I never knew that before. That was easy. Yay, it works. Uh huh. So I've been playing a lot of Team Fortress well, 2. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Yeah, um. Uh, so... Oh yeah, I've been playing a lot of Team Fortress 2. And I must say... Scout class is probably my favorite, mainly because I'm super fast. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Um, but... Uh, yeah... So, um, I think Scout is my favorite because he runs really fast. Um, but I, I pretty much like every single class except for Sniper and Demo Man. Is that right? Let's see. Let's see. All nine kits is. Uh, sniper. No, not sniper. Um, scout, demo man, soldier. That's the offense. Who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. 
And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Let's see, what's defense? Oh, defense is uh, pyro heavy and what else? Pyro heavy. Pyro heavy. Come on. Come on, Archie, think. Pyro heavy. And what else? I don't know. I they have that one mystery thing, and then they have the assistant. Or er, oh, wait. I have no idea. But the uh, the assistance kits or whatever it's called are um spy mechanic and um medic. Yeah. So I pretty much like. Wait, what? Mechanic is defense. Mechanic is defense. I don't know why, though, because it's more of a support kit. And anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about Team Fortress 2 and actually get into the test. Should have done that before. Seriously? How is it? you can't get any higher? Wow, you've got to be kidding. Good there. work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not stop with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Yeah, well, I am IR Storm. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, and if you liked it a lot, leave a favorite. And if you liked it so much that you want to see more, subscribe. My name is IR Storm, and thank you so much.